Hello everyone, this is the last part of the mini course. Today we will add detail to the material. Why did I decide to make my own bump node? Because the standard node produced this result. I found on internet how to make a shader that convert a normal map from a hike map, but run into a problem in the code in offset the texture inside the node. Hello Lubus, please help me to solve this problem and I will complete this node and put it in public use to enable us Armor Paint user to use this feature until you fix the standard node. One day an idea came to me, yes I cannot make this code for this node but I know what the program should do and I have all the tools for this inside the Armor Paint. I put this code together as a bunch of nodes and it works. You can download it from the link in the description. This is not a solution to the problem, it is a temporary measure. We import it into the material slot, load the map into it. We need three copies, connect it as in the video. This file controls the track of the normal map. And this file changes the direction, change from 0 to 1. Here is the output for my node, compare. Let's move on the lesson, Without the node, use the mask texture as a map. Assign to detail. Set the required strength value. Convert the layer to painting layer. Next, in a new material, blend the normal map of the two layers. Result, the paint is now thickness. For me, the material has become more interesting. Next step, decals. Change the texture. Add it to the transparent channel and the occlusion channel. Truth the invert node. This will add shadow. Select the stamp tool and draw. As a result, we got a depression in the form of a square. Change the texture. Connect the mapping node to them. Set the repetition in the mapping node along X axis. Select the stamp tool and adjust the scale, rotation and X-ray mode. We draw a lattice.
in this case, I move the decal layer down to the first one. I don't know why, but this is the only way the alpha channel for the normal map works correctly. This video is clearly visible. Following the sample principle, I add the next item to the panel. Notice, here I'm using a math node. It is needed to create a mask for the texture we are using. We only need a circle. We cut off all necessary values. Look what kind of mask we get when we set a values close to 1. Ring. Reducing the circle. Draw the element. I draw the bolt in the same way, but just turn the stump. This is before and after. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all and take care of yourselves.